Yep. Zap. Oh. He's seen us. Right, well, let's let's see if we can bait him into a, a gap. No. Okay. Uh, I've got a feeling he's going to have big blazes or something. Or is he just going to hit hard? Uh. Oh, yes, he's going to hit very hard. How's it going guys? John here from the Killer Bits and today, yes, we are taking on the Surge. And apart from sounding like a, you know, bottom of the shelf genre movie, you know, starring some B-lister movie star that's past their prime. No, this is a new game out on the 16th of May, I think it is, from Deck 13 and is being published by Focus Home Interactive. and. You may have heard of this already. This has been touted as a sci-fi Dark Souls. It's a third-person action game with a focus on melee combat. But rather than being in a fantasy setting, we are a guy in a mech suit beating up other guys in mech suits and robots. Anyway, before I dive into the game, take a quick look at the options. We've got a fair few options available, I meaning we can invert the both horizontal and vertical look if we wanted. Sticky limb locking, um, we've got camera smoothing, camera bobbing, uh, we can go to video, we've got a variety of resolution settings, brightness, you can also play around with graphics. Obviously this is all going to be suiting your own preferences but the fact that they've got a variety of settings here is always good. Audio, we've got separate sliders for voice effects and music and controls. Yes, this is the PC version, but it's coming to PC, PS4 and Xbox One. So, of course, it being a Souls-like, I'm going to play on gamepad. And we can see here the default controls. So, attack on this is essentially right bumper and right trigger. And we've got a horizontal and a vertical attack. The vertical attack is the equivalent of the strong attack in this because it takes a bit longer to wind up. But they also have a reason why it's horizontal and vertical because you can hack off limbs and that is actually one of the kind of main mechanics for the kind of leveling and RPG element of the game. But we'll get into that as we, we actually play the game. Dodge on the A button. There's no kind of default jump button if you look at the left stick it does say move and jump while sprinting so it, it's it is very souls like in that fact uh, we've got uh, we've got a block on the left bumper and we can switch enemy targets on the left trigger but that is essentially what the, the controls are but we will continue again so I've played about as you can see there about two and a half hours this is actually my second attempt at recording because I did you know, a good 45 minute first impressions, get the footage into the edit and find it's completely screwed up. Drop frames left, right and centre. So hopefully we don't have that this time. But this is our character. This is Warren, new employee at the Creo Corporation. Typical kind of generic evil corporation set on world domination. I don't know. But... As you'd imagine, this is being a Souls-like, the equivalent of our bonfire. But we are still in the kind of almost opening area. Um, I've unlocked some shortcuts and things like that, but we will well, we'll, we'll beat up some of these drones here. Come on. There we go. Two for the price of one. Not bad. Because I can actually show you... Well, essentially the, the tutorial, um, we could go that way or yeah, we'll go this way. There are some slightly tougher drones. So as long as I pay attention, I should be okay. Come on then, come and get us. Come on, can we? I just want to see if I can bait them into here so I can take them out because three on one, they're going to surround me and that's when I normally lo lose more life than I'm willing to accept. There we go. All right, there you go. 
Come on. Hit him. There we go. There we go. Right. That's one down. Come on. Are you going to cut? Come on. Oh, fit. Fine. No, jump away. Right, so they do that kind of EMP pulse. These guys do. Let's see. You're going to come and find me? Yes. Jump away. Yes. So, so far, the, the enemies in this aren't too bad. They're... You'll, you'll, you'll get caught out if you're not paying attention. Don't want to be locked on you. Come on. Come on, I just want to bait these. It's, it's easier taking on them one by one, as you'd imagine. There we go. And you as well. Yeah, right. Um, as you can see, we've taken some damage, but you can see health is the red bar in the top left-hand corner. Under that is our stamina bar. And below that is our energy as it were and we can also hit b and that will give us basically that's essentially our estus flask it's a vitality injection and we've got another laser zapping guy here nope no oh no it's a regular one okay yes right so the reason i've come down here is because essentially when we get dropped into the game this is where we get dropped in and it, it's got all the helpful kind of tutorial tip bits here right from the start. So it's easier to kind of go through this. So there you go. Right analog stick will lock on a target. Right bumper is for horizontal attack and right trigger vertical attack. So horizontal and vertical. And as you can see, that is actually using our stamina. So we can do a, a combo with the... Horizontals, vertical tends to be just a big slice. Every attack action consumes stamina, and that also includes the dodge function. We can do little bunny hops, and we can also press and hold the A button, which will run, and as you'd imagine, that also burns stamina. So let's go and beat up this guy here. And, yeah. I'm probably very, very overleveled for this section. Apart from the the shooting drones, which are obviously upgraded to catch us out. Yeah, I shouldn't be one-hitting these guys. I mean, initially you start off with this weapon. So we, we start off with a... It's classed as a reclaimed piston. And we just... It's just a very basic um, melee weapon. Uh, as you go along and you attack more mech suited guys, you can pick up these. So we've got the kind of laser arm thing, which as you'd imagine is big and slow, but hits like a truck. Or we've got the chain sword. That's as best I can actually, it's the Astir Vibro Cutter, which I'm favoring because it's kind of middle of the road for everything. So it's got the speed and hits pretty hard. We also have gear we've picked up. So we still need to get some headgear, and for that I think we need one more component of something until we can actually build that. But we've kitted out, essentially, all our arms in that. You start off with just the kind of basic frame of your mech suit, but adding these on adds the defense, as you can see at the bottom there. Defense is 41, and our damage at the moment is 35. And when we actually start the game, um, I haven't shown you the start of the game because that is actually embargoed until release. Um, yeah, we're not, I've, I've not been able to show you the essentially the first 10 minutes of the game. It's, it's basically embargoed up until the, the the point you get your mech suit. And we can left block. Go on. There we go. See, easy enough. And here we are back again. So essentially we just did a loop, but that was the kind of the tutorial. And once again, we can go back to the, the bonfire here. And we haven't got enough souls. It, in this, the uh, it's not souls, it's tech scrap. And um, we, we, I, in my first attempt at recording, I spent a bunch upgrading stuff. So we need 2,133. So we can probably farm that. Actually, I think 
I've probably got enough in my inventory. We've got consumables, yes. So we can use some of these. Yeah, so we were after 2,100 and something. Yeah. There we go. That should do it then. Right, so hopefully this means we can... There we go. Upgrade to Core Power 25, and we've got an improved improvement to our mech suit. We can, we've actually got a second, uh, an additional slot, so we can actually add in uh, some new implants. So what have we got here? Medi Vitalic Injection Volume Version 1. Core Power Consumption is 4. Health Restored 30. Okay. Don't want the Proximity Sensor. Um, vital boost is that an improvement on the current vitality boost thing I have um, I've already got a vitality boost of something haven't I was it that one vital injections power consumption plasmic regenerator health over 30 seconds Maybe that would be good then. We'll add that in. And obviously the next upgrade then is on... Once we've got to core level 35. At the moment I've, I've got this... Basically hit harder. We've got a uh, medical audit which uh, essentially puts health bars above all your enemies. That's your vital injections and... Sustaining array. Slows down energy decay. And I don't think we can do anything with that. So, yeah. Happy to help. As you'd imagine, basically using the campfire respawns all the enemies like um, Dark Souls. So we can do some farming here. So this guy, as it says here, while locked on, move the R stick to direct a to a body part. Certain body parts are weaker than others. So right arm is armored leg body but the head isn't so if we target the head we can do more damage as i said i'm probably a little overpowered for this area so this guy well we can actually target one of his armored parts because if we do more damage we can essentially hopefully come on there we go, get the expert on, and then we can chop off a limb. And that normally gives us some kind of bonus tech. So if we pick up this, as you can see there, we've got three tungsten alloy mark one and a wrecked lynx arm gear. So as I said, we the, the start of the game is embargoed, but essentially you you join the this this company Creo and they give you a mech suit, so essentially you get to pick one of two suits this is the link suit which is the more agile one the other option is the rhino which is the more heavy duty heavily armored but evidently you'll obviously be a lot slower as well also we're going to use one of our estus flasks and right and jump out the way there we go now i think when i was uh recording the first time using the dodge is what was causing all the dropped frames um, we've reacquired tech scrap yeah that that's our our lost souls from uh, when i played this last and i was just messing around at the end of the game but as you'd imagine if you die without banking any of your tech scrap you have two and a half minutes basically to get back to where you died and regain it um i know at the moment, I'm just farming these guys because we, we want the gear. Uh, yes, but I'm hitting like a truck. Um, so level design wise, it's 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 certain, it gates certain areas, but it also has shortcuts that lead lead back to the, the hub where you were. So we'll we'll hack our way through a couple more of these guys. There's this one here. Who's going to you're going to come chasing after us, aren't you? Come on, there we go. Oh, I didn't jump quick enough. Go on. 
And... Bonus, hack the leg off. Yes. So we can get a bonus scrap from doing those big finishing moves. And I'm going to use another Estus. Right. Um, the enemies aren't too bad. As long as you pay attention, you should be all right. They don't feel as kind of punishing as something like Dark Souls. Come on, lock on, there we go. What do we want to go for? We'll go for his head. And, go on. Did we kill him? We killed him. We we didn't even get chance to hit the X button. And I know there's another guy around here. And do we get the X? No bonus though. Oh, oh, we do get a bonus. We get a bonus. Small pile of scrap. So I, I was going to go on about the, the level design. Um, oh, actually, we'll do, deal with this guy first. There we go. And... Boosh! Take out another leg. So the the animation, uh, you know, the, the kill animations get, can be amusing, but uh, after you've seen it several times, it can get a little annoying. So you can actually turn that down to low, I think, in the settings. So, yes, level design. I, I, I am going to get there eventually. Um, so certain areas are locked off by, well, doors like this. Occasionally you have to use your power core in your mech suit to blow a essentially a key uh, so you blow a, a keypad there which zaps the door and it opens it and um, we've got one just here yeah um, as you know we're on level 25 for our power core so we're not going to be out, able to use this well not actually get it to work but you get the idea of how it works core power too low so there, there are several of these dotted around some will open kind of key areas others will open like little side rooms like this so there was a key pad up here I can show you the lifts so as you can imagine that was like a level 10 and it you just follow the pipes and it obviously zapped this door just here and in here there was a um, small pickup also a, a audio log so, in this game, the the story as such is told in kind of audio logs. Um, I'm not quite sure what the storyline is. Um, apparently, the enemies we come across are just essentially robots, and as you saw, those kind of mech dudes like us. Um, but they're, they're, apparently, they've been sent mad. Now, when we were getting our suit fitted, um, we were also given implants. So I've got a feeling. There's some weird cyber, you know, AI which is uh, sending the, the workers mad or, you know, uh, turning them into zombies or what have you. Uh, but I was also talking about the shortcut. So this was a shortcut that leads back to our hub area. I'm trying to remember what I've said in the past and what I've said in this video because, as I said, it's annoying when you spend an hour working on a video and then discover the footage is corrupted nope he just clipped through the the thing there we go so I I've opened up several kind of shortcuts so that's another one go on and there we go and that lift just goes up to um, a small area with a bonus item in a lot of it is just you know look around corners and you find another pile of scrap essentially there's tons and tons of scrap available in this. Um, coming this way does mean we can potentially outflank these guys. Obviously, if you came around the main way, um, you'd have this guy hiding in the corner. But he's fairly inactive, so let's just go for his head. But his friend might creep up behind us. No, his friend didn't creep up behind him us this time. Right, well, we'll grab whatever that is. 
There we go. Now he's got our attention. So some are very mobile, some are very inactive. The, these guys that run and charge at you, they're the ones to be wary of. So not, I've occasionally I've been you know, beating up this guy here and his friend will come up, charge me. That leaping attack will do, you know, half your damn health, essentially. So it is good to be wary of that kind of thing. Uh, let's lock on him. Let's go for his arm. Let's see if we can get, get a slice off his arm. And yeah, see like that. Occasionally you'll get enemies that will just creep up behind you. Oh, and we died. Ah, we weren't paying attention to our health. So they're fairly easy, but if you get, you know, blindsided, essentially, that's when issues happen. So, and, well, we've got two and a half minutes now to go and get our, our scrap back. Warren. So let's do that. We know exactly where we're going. These guys are easy. So go on, dive out the way. You're going to come and get us? There we go. Easy peasy. Oh, it's actually three minutes uh, to get, get these guys. Well, again. Well, we know where we're going. Let's see if we can bait out this guy first. Uh, come on. Take out the more active ones. And the big slice of... Oh, it's another leg. Let's pick that up. And it's another Rex gear leg. Right. And... Another leg. Are we picking anything up? No. He's not paying out this time. Right. So we know we're going to get... Jumped from behind if we... Go on. Can we get your attention? Come on. There we go. We dodged out of the way and we can just wail on him. There we go. And we should be able to get our souls and not get surprised. There we go. There, there's the one that surprised us last time. Oh, oh, he just clipped us. Okay, well, we'll use our health potion. Oh! And there we go, taking care of business. Right, well, we can get our health back, uh, scrap back even. There we go, reacquired our scrap. And we can sneak up on this guy and hit him in the back whilst he's trying to break down the door. Oh, uh, no. There we go. And what we can do because i can't do what i did in the original video we could go down this side route because i didn't really do any investigating down here so again this was another area we had to open up and this leads down to the power plant and uh, our mission to get out of this area is we we've been contacted by the rebels or whoever they are uh, and told to get to the factory which we need to use the maglev train to get get there and evidently we had to um, switch on something in the power plant to actually get the train working but that's when sh shit went down so we've got two guys here let's see if we can just wake up one there we go oh no we've woken up both uh, right well, they're both inactive ones. Okay, well, we'll lock on you and... Come on. And... Slice off the arm. No, no, we just killed him. Okay, well, we'll grab that, whatever that is. He's just prodding in the midair. Okay. Never mind. And... Kick him in the chest. Right, okay. Oh, and take off the head. Nice. So, so far I've not been down this way in the... Oh, oh you're just shooting lasers, are you? Right, okay. 
Yep, it's one of these. Avoid the EMP blasts. And... Come on, can we pick that up? More headgear, right. Oh, thankfully in the dark, the guys with the big laser arms are easy to spot. So let's take on you. This is where somebody will creep up behind me, probably. No. Nope. Nobody hiding in the corners. What about you? You're going to wake up? Uh, yeah. So, like I said, I'm probably a little overpowered for this area. You only die if you don't pay attention. Now, what is down here? Don't go into that. That is obviously acid. Right, so... Can we go along the edge, or... We'll probably need some sort of upgrade for our suit for, before we can go down there. So, uh, well, we might as well use a health pack. There's a worker. Help. Anyone there? I want to get out. Okay, well, this is probably a mech guy. And he's got a big hammer. Right. Come on. So give give us a bigger area so we can actually see what's going on. He's going to come and do a big dive and then we'll get the counter attack. There we go. Now we can wail on him. So if we'd been canny about that, we could have targeted his arm and probably got the big, big hammer. But that's the first time I've seen somebody with a big heavy duty weapon. And is there anything else in here? No, just this. Blue cables. No idea what they they are. So we are in a uh, different area. So, I'm... so I, I never investigated this. I went round a different direction and managed to. Oh, I hope to die get close enough so we could actually just wail on him. Jump. There we go. Right. At the moment we've got four thousand six hundred. Yeah. Don't die at this point, because this is a reasonable amount of scrap. Oh, and we also, we're also going to upgrade our weapon proficiency in a second as well. Uh, no, I did jump. And what are we going to... Slice him in the head, yeah. Right. Use another health pack. Proficiency level 9. Okay, well, we're going to go for his laser arm. Come on. He's going to have friends around the corners though, aren't, isn't he? And... No, we were too quick. Okay. Oh, but we can get a pickup. So it's it's not as spooky. Uh, obviously, it's a bit dark down here, so but not particularly spooky. Uh, right. Got a message? We have come into possession of evidence that links Ed Nakana, employee number 776910, to the homicides associated with the individual known as the Liberator. All indications point to the fact that he has deliberately tampered with his neural implant, including disabling its GPS function. Therefore, CreoNet cannot ascertain his whereabouts. While he's at large, he is a serious threat to staff and Creo's image. If this were to get out, we need to take care of this quickly and quietly. Okay, so uh, the, the the story is told through a whole bunch of audio logs and occasional messages like that. As I said, I've only played about two and a half hours so far, so I'm not that far into it. As I said, I'm presuming um, this evil corporation, there's some sort of like AI infection which has turned all the workers into zombies essentially and there is a slight hint in the kind of intro sequence that everything isn't as it seems um, apparently this isn't a post-apocalyptic 
apocalyptic world. This is a post ecological disaster world and you know the, the the corporation is saying it's sending people off planet and things like that and get a job as a worker and you'll you know help help humanity but there is an ecological element to this saying you know the world's gone to shit um, but I reckon the fact that we heard somebody saying help get me out of here this is an employee one I reckon this is uh, are we authorised personnel? Access unauthorized. Okay, so we're going to have to get somebody's person, you know, access code or something. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the bonfire and cash in all our scrap because we've not missed anything. No, right. Apart from the dip in the acid pool which we we obviously can't go that direction yet so what we can do then is go and try and take on the boss or at least a mini boss oh somebody's trying to break in I can hear thumping Oh, it's this guy. Oh, yeah, I remember. There's a guy just behind, around that corner, banging his head against the wall. But we can use this shortcut. So, I've, I've opened up a fair few shortcuts in this kind of initial area. And we're all safe around here, yes. So, we'll cash in our scrap. See if we can do any small upgrades. Probably not. Good to see you. Right. Well, we'll certainly get full health. Yes, we can do level six. Now, at the moment, we're using 19 out of 26 of our core power consumption. Now, I'm presuming if we can potentially upgrade. Yes, we've got enough now to. Uh, basically do put on our VR visor it looks like so we can build that and we'll be able to upgrade it I presume no upgrades available at the moment because we I think all these we need like mark two versions of all the components we, you know we've got nearly enough scrap for stuff but we haven't got the components we need uh, we not don't really need to upgrade the starting weapon I suppose we can but yeah, it, it requires Mark II alloys, so we're not going to be able to do that. So what we can do is add our headgear. Now, at the moment, as you can see, we're using 19 out of 26. I presume this is going to use, it says power consumption 1, so there we go. So you need to upgrade your, your core using scrap to obviously be able to equip more gear. And... Broken parts, well we've cashed those in. Schematics, no nothing new. Components. So look, we've got loads of these kind of Mark 1 things, which we're not going to be able to use because... I, unless we, we get a different type of mech suit, which requires Mark 1 parts to build initially. That's not important. But let's see if we can just do a few more health, you know, well not so much health upgrades, but core upgrades. Oh no, that's 2008. Right. Let's use some of our inventory then. Consumables. Three thousand. That will do it. So. So now health is up to 120. Stamina 85. Stamina is not going up a lot. But let's see if we can have a crack at taking on the boss. And we'll wrap it up there. So, I mean, my first impressions are... Yes, if you, you're a fan of Dark Souls, this will kind of scratch that itch whilst, you know, we maybe wait for Bloodborne 2 or something like that. Um, but it's certainly not a replacement for Souls. It, it, it kind of, as I say, scratches that itch. It's got very familiar mechanics and that... But it doesn't feel as... The world doesn't feel as rich. Admittedly, I'm still just like in the opening area. And you've probably seen a bunch of videos 
in this area because I think kind of like all the the IGN preview type things were featuring this area and maybe once we get further into the story it will you know ha have more to it now I know the boss is in that direction but I haven't been this way I think there's just a drone and a big machine yeah yeah That. Oh, he's seen us. Right. Well, let's let's see if we can bait him into a, a gap. No. Okay. Uh, I've got a feeling he's going to have big lasers or something, or is he just going to hit hard? Uh. Oh, yes, he's going to hit very hard. Maybe we wait to take on him. Let's let let's go to the main boss then. <laughs> okay. So I know there's a, a regular dude around here. Come on. But the idea is not to get him to fall into the acid. Because whatever he drops we want. If he drops anything. Are you gonna drop anything? No. Okay. And there's a couple more drones here. Oh, uh, swinging wildly. Get out of the way. Ah, uh, uh, your friend's got us. Right, well, um, we'll use that one health pack. Because we'd, we're we going to die to the boss anyway. Um, right. Oh, jump, jump out of the way. No. Right. One thing I, I haven't had too much practice with, apparently there's different ways of um, blocking. So that is the regular block, but apparently you can block low shots and, and I presume... Oh yeah, you can crouch high shots. I presume I'm going to have to practice that to be able to take on the boss because he seems to have a variety of... Big heavy hitting attacks, shall we say. Come on. And, uh, yeah. Enemies aren't that bright. Are you going to drop anything? Oh, you are. Right. What's that? More piles of rusty scrap. And occasionally you'll have paths blocked by crates like this. I think when I went this way, it was, it was just an audio log down that end. So occasionally you have to bear in mind you can smash crates. So this area is just protected by drones but there's a couple of ones that shoot so we have to bear that in mind. Where are you? There you go. Let's run at him. Right, where's your friend? Uh, there you go. And... Oh! Jump out of the way, avoid the EMP, and big hit. And I think I've got yeah, there was a there was a little pile of scrap or something back here. And big hit. Oh, get out of the way. Oh, we we clipped it. Come on. And one last hit. There we go. And this is essentially leads into the boss area. So this is our fog gate, essentially. And, well, I can kind of show you where the train is. Um, the train is on this pile, other side of the pile of scrap, which we've, I think we've powered up now that we, we flicked the right switch in the power station. But as soon as we did, security measures came online and, well, this guy came into operation. Yep. Uh, uh, oh, no. Yes, that's why I was trying to get behind him so I can... But there's not a... Oh, yeah. Okay, well, we're just going to tap at his ankles. 
We've got one health stim pack. This is where he kicks us. Get, get out of the way. Get mashing the A button, but he doesn't do anything. And we're down. So I told you that was going to happen, but this has been The Surge. Comes out on the 16th of May on PC, PS4 and Xbox One. And we're not going to get our scrap back in two and a half minutes. So we didn't lose too much because we'd actually cashed in well beforehand. But yeah, if you want to find out more about the game, obviously I will leave a link in the description below as always. And if you enjoyed this first impressions, why not hit that like button? It does help us out. I'm definitely going to be tinkering around more with this just to see what it does in the way of, you know, trying to replicate that Souls feel. But if you want to see more, do let me know in the comments. I'm possibly, you know, considering maybe doing a, a Let's Play on this. So if you're interested, as I say, let us know in the comments or on any of the socials over at the Kilobits. And if you want to see more vids like this, obviously hit that subscribe button. You get to check out everything we're doing here on the channel, all the first impressions, Let's Plays, cult videos, what have you. And it's just good to have you around. I mean, we, we literally passed 20,000 subscribers a couple of days ago. So yeah, thank you for everyone new here on the channel. And hopefully I will see you again soon.